Welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a driver commission report for the month in sales invoice listing. This report calculates the commission rate as long as the invoice is created, with no payment required. The driver commission is calculated per trip, and each item will have its own commission rate. Here is the sample report, as requested by the user. In this report, we will use Location is the driver name, commission rate from maintain stock item, formula calculate the commission is commission rate times with quantity. Before starting with the report design, you'll need to create a DIY field in the maintain stock item. First, go to tool, select DIY, and open the SQL control center. Under business objects, double click stock item, click on stock item field. Add a new field name as comrate and set the data type to float. Subsize refers to how many decimal points you want for this field. In this case, you can set it to four decimal places. Change the caption to calm rate, percent. Default value set to zero, and save. Next, you're required to create a quick form to display the calm rate field. Right click on the stock item and select new quick form design. Enter the tab name with calm rate. Click on setting icon and drag the newly created calm rate field to the report mode and save it. Now, you've successfully created the comrade and maintain stock item. To create this report, start by selecting sales invoice listing with group by level 1. We need to group the report by location. However, this report does not include a group by location field by default. To fix the grouping, select any field from the available options as a placeholder for now and we'll adjust the grouping to include location later in the report design. We will use the standard report name, Sales Local Invoice Listing Level 1 as the base to extend it into the Driver Commission Report. Now, let's move forward to create a new available pipeline. First, go to Calc and right-click to select Modus. Under Declarations, create a new data pipeline in the script and name it SQL underscore 3, or any unique name that hasn't been used before. For more details on how to create an available data pipeline, you may refer to the YouTube video below. Next, in the Events section, insert the following query to capture the data and sort it by location. The SQL query will look like this. You need to include columns from both the main table and the document detail table. In this tutorial, I'll include company name, doc date, and doc number from the main table. Then, I'll select all columns from the document detail table by using the asterisk symbol to include every column. Finally, sort the data by location, document date, and document number. Navigate to Event Handlers and choose the Procedure Report before print. Go to Language. Select Utility. And use the local SQL underscore select formula. A DB pipeline refers to the data pipeline. Make sure you add PL in front of the SQL declaration, following by the variable name you create in global declaration, which is PLSQL underscore 3. Update SQL declaration to SQL underscore 3. A sort by defines the sorting order. The data will be sorted by location, doc date, doc no. The string list code here defines the grouping based on the group selected by the user, such as customer code. You must use brace symbols to disable the group by function in the report to make sure the data is grouped exclusively by location. Right-click select compile. If you see an error indicating an undeclared identifier, don't worry, this is just a reminder to save your changes. Simply save the report as a new one to resolve the alert. Now, we'll guide you on how to change the report's data pipeline. Select the report you just saved, click into Report Designer. Under Report, navigate to Data, and change the data pipeline from main to PLSQL underscore 3. For most fields, the system will automatically update them to PLSQL underscore 3. However, for any fields that are not automatically updated, you will need to change them manually. To change the data pipeline, you can do this in two ways. Let's use location as an example. First method is Locate the DB text linked to its original pipeline, which is document detail. Search for the location field. Update the pipeline by changing document detail to PLSQL underscore 3. The second way is. Set the data pipeline to PLSQL underscore 3. Use the data tree to locate the field name to capture. For location, the field is named location in document detail. 
Enter this field name into the appropriate field. So, this is how you locate and change the data pipeline. Let's move on to setting the data grouping as location. To group the data by location, first, you'll need to identify the component name for this location field, which is ED code 1. Go to report and select groups. Set custom field for break on and choose the location field name, which is ED code 1. Now, we'll start adjusting the report objects to match the customer's sample format. First, move the .no and .date fields further to the left. Click on the first object, such as the .no label, press and hold the shift key, select the other objects you want to move together. Drag them to the desired position. Remove those in used components, such as code, local amount, group total amount and summary total amount. Now, add the following labels. Item code, quantity, com rate, and total com. Arrange them neatly within the report layout. Next, insert DB text components to capture the corresponding data fields. Make sure that the data pipeline is set to plsql underscore 3 for all fields. Once everything is in place, save the report. When previewing the report, you may encounter an error. This occurs because certain components were removed, but their queries remain attached. To resolve this, navigate to Calc, select Event Handlers, and choose the Procedure Report Before Print. You can double-click on the error to identify which queries are invalid. Use the double slash symbol to comment out the relevant code. Finally, right-click and select Compile to test for errors. Repeat these steps until no errors remain in the queries. Fast forward, you'll have the report template ready as shown here. Next, we're going to capture the due date from the customer invoice. The due date column is available on the customer invoice. In Report Designer, add a new label for due date to the report. Then put in a variable to capture the due date and rename it as V due date. Go to the Calc tab, search for V due date. To retrieve this data from SQL database, use the following SQL query where AR represents the customer, IV represents the invoice table, and the column name for the due date is due date. After done, remember to right-click compile to check the query accuracy. Now, we move on to capture the commission rate from the maintained stock item table. Insert a variable to the desired position, rename it to VCOM rate, and change the variable type to double. Open the Calc tab, search for VCOM rate. Use the SQL query to capture the COM rate from maintained stock item. Pull out the item code field from plsql underscore 3 to match the com rate accordingly. To study more on this, you can watch this YouTube video. Right click and select compile to check the coding accuracy. Next, add a new variable for the total commission calculation. Change the type to double and name it vtotalcom. Right click on vtotalcom, select calculations. The commission calculation will be com rate times with quantity. Remember to put a semicolon symbol to end the query. Use the simple round 2x formula to round the value to two decimal points. Right-click Compile to check the error. Press OK to save. Next, create variables for the group and summary total commission. Rename the variables as VGTotalCom and VSTotalCom. As previous, set the variable type for both to double. Back to calculation on vtotal.com. The formula, variable name dot value, colon equal to, variable name dot value plus value in with a semicolon, works by taking the current value and adding the same formula for each subsequent row. For example, you're adding up your commission earned. You'll be starting with a RM0 in your total. On the first item, you earn RM10. Total equals 0 plus 10. Now your total is RM10. On the second item, you earn RM5. Total equals 10 plus 5. Now your total is RM15. After adding up the previous total, the amount will keep rolling forward until there are no more amounts left to be calculated. In this case, the group total commission applies the formula vgtotalcom.value, colon, and equal to vgtotalcom.value plus value, then end with a semicolon. The summary total commission uses the formula vstotalcom.value, colon, equal to vstotalcom.value plus value, and end with a semicolon. Right-click and select Compile to check for errors. 
Next, you need to ensure that the variable calculations follow the correct order. Right-click on the Detail row and select Calc Order. Select Detail Report Bands and verify that the variable order matches what's shown on the screen. In this situation, the system will calculate VCOM rate first and then move to VTotalCOM to get the correct amount. If the order is incorrect, the system will process the calculations in the wrong sequence, which will lead to inaccurate results in the report, such as incorrect commission totals or miscalculated values. At the end, add dbcalc to calculate the sum up for the quantity. Select dbcalc, choose plsql underscore 3, and type in quantity. After done, save it. When previewing the report, you may notice that the description does not match the location description. In this case, you need to create a new available pipeline from document underscore location and link it to plsql underscore 3. To capture the description from document underscore location, you will need to create a new available pipeline. As before, select Calc and declare a new pipeline under Declarations. In the Events section, input the following query to capture the data from the document location. In this case, you can capture the location code from the document location table. In Event Handlers, select the Procedure Report Before Print. Add local SQL underscore select for plsql underscore 4. To identify the field to sort by, go to the code toolbox, look for document underscore location, and the field to capture is code. Here, you'll need to take an extra step by adding the set data pipeline field link function. This is necessary because you want to apply plsql underscore 4 on the main page, which is currently using plsql underscore 3. By using this formula, you can join plsql underscore 3 and plsql underscore 4 together effectively. A master data pipeline represents the data pipeline in the main page, which is plsql underscore 3. A detail data pipeline refers to another data pipeline to join with the current page, which is plsql underscore 4. A master fields represents the main data field in the current pipeline, such as location. A detail fields corresponds to the field in the secondary data pipeline that matches the main pipeline field, such as code. Right-click to compile the SQL query. Save the report to resolve the alert. Return to the saved report and update the settings for the group header and group footer. Change the data pipeline to plsql underscore 4 and set the data field to description. This step ensures that the field displays the correct location description. The report is now complete. Be sure to save your work. The driver commission report is fully generated as per the customer's request, with each driver's total commission displayed here. That wraps up today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video, follow our Facebook for the latest update, go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.